What's going on, everybody? This is Jaden. Welcome back to a new reaction. Is that my intro? What's going on? This is Jaden. Welcome back to a new reaction video. And in this video, we're going to be watching um, The Sarah Jane Adventures, Season 1, Episode 11, the finale of Season 1, The Lost Boy Part 2. This season's been good. Like, like it's been good. Like, there's, there's no episode where... I mean, I know there's only 11 episodes and, like, their stories, they're all two-parters. There's no episode that I've disliked. I mean, there's probably episodes that I've disliked more than most, than others, but there's no episode that I disliked at all. And that's pretty good. I like it. I've been liking this season. We're going to go ahead and find out what happens to the Lost Boy. To uh, We're going to go ahead and find out what happens to Luke. Like I said, we need to find out what Mr. Smith is all about. We got to find out, uh, you know... Sarah Jane needs to defeat this the Sladines. And it better happen all in this episode, because I know they're not about to leave us on a cliffhanger. They better not. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch The Lost Boy Part 2. And then after we get done watching that, I will um give my review of this season. And just like this see well, I'll do that. I'll do that when I finish Doctor Who. I was going to say, like, this year, year four of Doctor Who, which is, I count year four of Doctor Who, season four of Doctor Who, um, Torchwood season two, and Sarah Jane season one. That's what I count, kind of. Anyway, let's go. I want to, I just want to check something real quick. So this came out in 2007. Okay, okay. All right, let's go ahead and watch this episode. It's Phil Ford written like every episode. Uh, how is there no alarm? We what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what she need that for? Mr. Smith said to steal it. Oh! That didn't sting too much. Wow. She is, uh, she is, she is cool. I like her. This is Clyde. If you want me and I don't blame you, leave me a number. Wow. Oh, he's inside of like he's inside of Mr. Smith. Look, there's a bunch of algorithms and numbers. At least I'm still alive. Huh. I think. Don't worry, I'm sure he stayed at mates. If I see him, I'll tell him to ring you, okay? First Luke and now Clyde. Something wrong? Clyde's not answering his phone and he didn't go home last night. When did you last see him? Lunchtime yesterday. He skipped school to go and see Luke. He rang me later. He says he doesn't think they're really Luke's parents. Mother must be going out of her mind. Oh, okay. I was saying, I was saying what do you mean, your mother? Maybe. Yeah, her mother. I'm part of this now. Oh. I'm coming with you. Oh. If I was an alien bent on invasion, I think I'd choose a palace rather than this place. <laughs> they're not in. Come on. What are we looking for? Anything that that tell us who they are or what they've done with Luke and Clyde. Who they are and what they've done with Luke. Oh. No. No. They're peep. They're Slovenes. They're Slovene. Where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? What were you gaining from revenge? Wait. Oh. So you weren't going to help Sarah Jane? I thought you were going to help her for her whole life. He's been bad the whole time. Sure, won't be long. You sure she'll be alright with that child snatching maniac around? Yes. She can look after herself, and uh, Sarah Jane's not a child snatcher or a maniac. <laughs> Come on. Oh! 
That little boy is annoying. Make sure you keep Maria away from her over the road. As soon as she's locked up, the better. Yeah, sure. So where's your trouble, Alan? Work. Don't worry, let myself out. Look, 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 look. He hacked your computer. Mr. Smith is bad. Say, say M. Smith equals Smith? M. Smith is bad. We need you. Come on, come on, don't try to. Mr. Smith gone bad. Come on, come on, tell him, tell him, tell him. Come on, Alan, Alan, tell Sarah Jane. <laughs> Look. I don't be ridiculous. Who was it told you those people were Luke's parents? Mr. Smith, what's going on? I have a purpose. It must be fulfilled. The Slitheen have been useful, and so have you. This is the but biggest plot twist that I, that I could never predict. I could never predict this. Anybody's side. I have my purpose. What is your purpose? As for your interference, it is of minimal inconvenience. Sarah Jane can't stop me achieving that purpose. Do you think what's happened to Mr. Smith has anything to do with Luke and the Slitheen? It must have. But how? Well, I don't know. Could Mr. Smith have some sort of connection with the Slitheen? I mean, where did he come from? Biggest volcanic eruption civilization has ever seen. Pompeii. 18 months ago, when I was oh. researching the volcanic activity, a geologist friend sent me a crystal from the site of Krakatoa said it could help me keep track of alien life form coming to earth oh. it could help protect the earth but our technology was too limited and so it designed mr smith it created <laughs> mr smith and in some parts of the galaxy telekinetic energy fetches a huge price so then could have got the plans for the telekinetic energizer from the other side of the galaxy had it built at the pharos I knew there was a reason I didn't care for that name. Yeah, hang on. Oh. Kinetic energy? What, like moving things with your mind? Luke's mind, created by the Bane, the most incredible mind on the planet. So they want to use his brain for telekinetic powers. Oh. Overload it, overload, overload it. Oh, right, so never mind phasers or photon torpedoes, never mind Arnie's Uzi 9mm. We're taking on these aliens with bottles of vinegar from the chipping. <laughs> it's acetic acid, so the calcium light forms, calcium acetic acid don't mix. Trust me. Sure. So I wonder what would happen if you put or, uh, milk. Oh, yeah, because you put milk, if you put vinegar inside of milk, it curdles. What happened if you put an orange with vinegar? What happened to the orange? What have you done with my son? The misbehaving little brat. Back on Raxacorocophalopatorius, we'd spank his backside with a Bartle Boigle. Wow. Yes, well, we're not there, so where is he? He got away. Raxacorocophalopatania? I've been watching this for I've been watching Doctor Who for a year, I still don't know how to say that. Go frog, face. frog face, Ninja Turtle. What now? Now we contact the Zylock. Get this deal back on the rails once we found the young Nick again. He brought you to Earth to build the telekinetic energizer, didn't he? And he told me to come here looking for it. I don't understand. Neither do I. Not yet. But I think the last part of his plan has just fallen into place. Mr. Smith knew Luke would escape. And he knew that when he did, he would run straight back to my house. Oh! Right back to him. Something Mr. Smith said about the telekinetic energizer. With the right mind, it could be a destroyer of worlds. He meant Luke's mind. I think he's planning to destroy the Earth. There really isn't time oh. to argue. Clyde! Put it on, or I will kill him. Wow. Running out of time and patience. Put the headset on. I thought Mr. Smith was gonna be like five season good character. I thought I don't know what maybe maybe they'll like have Mr. Smith be good, but That's more like it. they'll change him, they'll just reprogram him. On the other hand, if you help me, 
I don't like how close the moon is getting. I do not like how close the moon is getting. I need you to destroy Mr. Smith. How? Oh, she cares about you know her family. It's just she's weird. The collision of the moon and Earth will release the Zylok from beneath the planet's crust, where it has been buried for sixty million years. Wow. The Zylok are a crystalline life form. All this time, you used me, Mr. Smith. You evil. No, effective. We will do so much more than the human race. Only my purpose matters. You can change your purpose. No, I told you, Sarah Jane. We all have a purpose. Yours is to die so that the Zylok. Okay, well, she's opening the safe. What life day you have alone in your attic? Alone. Wow. You think I'm alone? You think I'm defenseless? Well, meet my dog. Oh! Canine. I was wondering where he went. Do you wish me to continue firing, Miss Fred? Just be ready if I need you, Canine. Sarah Jane, help me. Without your memories, you have no purpose, Mr. Smith. Yeah. You can't destroy the Earth. Put the moon back into its original orbit before it's too late. And set Luke free now. I've forgotten my purpose. Your purpose is to save the Earth, Mr. Smith. That is your new purpose. To save the Earth. Save the Earth. What? Okay, the moon's going back. Can I save today? Is everything satisfactory, mistress? Affirmative canine. Must return to the distortion, mistress. Without my immediate attention, black hole will turn critical in 0 0.42 time spatial increments. Oh. This time she got there they go. the dad with her. Rexacorico Falopatorius. Will they be back? Oh, I expect so. Sooner or later. Always back coming back. Yeah, can we ever trust him again? The Armageddon Code has wiped his circuits. He'll reboot with a new purpose. To safeguard the world. So we'll actually have real Mr. Smith. Mom! Oh, we were just saying what a beautiful night. Please come and join us. There's magic wherever you go. What did she say? I like I her little... I that oh. life on Earth can be an adventure too. You never know what you might find. In all the universe, I never expected to find a family. Oh. They did, they like, they gave her character just, I know this isn't the end of the series, but like, who, who would have ever thought that a companion back in Classic Who would have had their own show? Um, but yeah, this season was good. Season one of, it was, wow. I understand, the, you know, I under, like I said, last episode, I said, why didn't they just, why didn't they have whatever happened to Sarah Jane be the finale of the season? But no, I, I, I understand. I understand why this was the finale. But yeah, this was, it was great. It was great. I liked it. This season was good. This this season, I mean, so I know I started the season eight months ago because of like my list, but this is the only season where, that will, you know, be on breaks a lot because season two, I'm going to watch in its entirety before going on to Doctor Who slash Torchwood. And the same as like, you know, like I'm not going to be alternating episodes. So I think my list has it that I, that, I will no longer be alternating episodes. But yeah, Sarah Jane will be on pause for a little while. Um, because I gotta watch Torchwood and Doctor Who and finish those seasons up. But wow, I can't believe Mr. Smith. Can't believe Mr. Smith was like was evil this whole time. I I I predict a lot of stuff. Like I, I can kind of think about what's gonna happen. I could have never in a million years would I think that that her helper was going to be evil because I watch a show called Legends of Tomorrow where Mace Mr. Smith there's a there's a character like Mr. Smith um her name is Gideon and she's she's an AI robot that helps the team with you know time travel and stuff so I would have never thought that he would have became evil but yeah this season was pretty good the story, the stories in this season were 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 good. Um, like, if it's this good, how I think, if I think it's this good, then I I'm I'm in for a treat. I'm in for a treat. 
But yeah. So I hope you guys liked my torch my my Sarah Jane Adventures reactions. I'll be watching season two soon, but um I'll be watching you know, the Hooniverse, the Hooniverse um will be expanding. You know. I mean the Hooniverse has expanded, that's what I mean. The Hooniverse expanded and Sorry, something just distracted. Something popped up on my my page and it, my screen and it distracted me. But yeah, I like this show. Like like this show can kind of this show can hold its own. I didn't really expect it from this show. I don't know why. I didn't I didn't expect like this goodness from the show. Like like it's a different type of good. Like I don't know. It's a different type of good. I don't know how to explain it really. But yeah. So um, you know you can. If, if this is the first episode of the video you've seen of mine, you know, you can go ahead and, you know, follow along for the Hooniverse journey. On Patreon, I, you know, react to, like, shows, you know, a week early. I try to keep it a week early, but sometimes it could be two weeks early, depending on how um, YouTube tries to block my stuff. But, you know, if you want full reactions and early reactions, you can go ahead and, you know, check out my Patreon. And I'm excited to I'm excited to wrap up Doctor Who and Torchwood because my next reactions of the Hooniverse will be Torchwood episode 12 and 13 and then Doctor Who episode 12 and 13. I'm ready. I'm ready for uh ready. I'm ready for this journey. We just finished season one. Um, Let's see how season two treats us. I don't know what's going on here. OK, yeah. So, yeah. I want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.